Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Andrew G and welcome to episode 45 of my podcast, The Public Affair. I'm really happy to announce that we're at 45 episodes. Um, thank you guys so much again for all your support and your love. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not, if you're new to the channel, of course. Thank you to Rogue Media Network with my boy Mike Hamilton for um, everything that you do. I really appreciate it, Mike. Thank you so much. And of course, to all you guys. Before we get started, I definitely want to give a shout out to a few of our sponsors of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to you by Ad Hone Painting with my boy Juan Ad Hone. He's a family-owned local paint company that specializes in residential homes, both interior and exterior. He offers the best quality guaranteed. So if you need your home painted, of course, you're going to call my boy Juan Ad Hone. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. Of course, the B&J Refinishing with my boy Frank Biza. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality. Has five-year warranty on most work and offers the best prices in town. And he doesn't stop there because he also has Code Town Tint, which is a mobile tint and detailing business. He offers the best high-quality film and products and will be all competitive prices. Frank, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode with B&J Refinishing and Code Town Tint. Of course, to Jeffrey Monreal with, my, with, my, with Pollo Box and Audio. He focuses on installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and much more. He's a jack of all trades, and I love me some Jeffrey Monreal. Thank you so much. Oh, for the auto start in my car, too. You're the best, man. Thank you. Of course, to David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. David is the number one sales agent in his office to help you buy a home or sell your home. Make sure you follow him on Facebook. Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen, darling, for all your real estate needs. Thank you, David, so much. Of course, to Joe Olvera at Four Brothers Construction. He provides custom home designs and renovations, also focuses on plumbing, roofing, tree removal, electrical work, and much more. You can call the number on the screen for any of those services. Thank you so much, Joe Olvera. And I can't go on without thanking Marco Scoletta with Midway Nutrition, who's located on Hewitt Drive. Uh, he focuses on selling meal replacement shakes with tons of different flavors and variety for a healthier meal replacement. Uh, make sure you guys hit him up or go see him on Hewitt Drive if you guys need it a little bit more of a healthier lifestyle on your diet. And of course, they have Waco Nutrition and Energy, which is located on Spate, if you're located in the Waco area. More to come later. All right, guys. And so I'm really excited to announce my next guest. Um, you know, the elusive Chantuz, who is gorgeous and hot in person. Um, before I get started with that, though, I definitely would give a small little shout out to my girl, Yvette Villa Gomez, with P and I Designs, who made me this lovely cup, and I absolutely love it. She knew I love Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon whore. Um, thank you, Yvette, so much. So if you guys need some decals, then make sure you hit my girl, Yvette Villa Gomez at P and I Design. And real quick shout out to my friend, Israel Carbajal, on episode 23. I'm better at Pokemon than you. Okay, so anyway, going on. <laughs> so um, I really um, am really happy for this next guest, you guys. She's gorgeous in person. I just... I'm stunned. Um, I'm really happy that she's here. She's also one of my new sponsors of The Public Affair with Dollhouse Aesthetics and Elevate. Um, welcome, Miss Kaylin Flores, to The Public Affair. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. You know what? Um, I'm, it's hot in here, and you're hot, and I'm sweating, and I'm going to drink this water, and I'm really happy that you're here. <laughs> thank so thank you so much. And you know, um, I met you, or we talked on the phone, what, about a month ago, a few weeks ago? Yeah. And you reached out for sponsorship with Dollhouse Aesthetics and Elevate. You were super kind. I got to see all your pictures. Hot. And so, and I can't keep my eyes off the girls. Um, can, you, I, can you tell me what size those are, please? Triple D. I'm okay. Let me get some. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk more about that, lady. And, and, you know, I hope, you, I hope you don't feel disrespected by any of my questions. No. Um, Kaylin, yeah, we At this been. point, I'm, I'm used to it. And you're just like void to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, and I think that's really awesome. I think that you should, you know play up your features and such like that, you know? And so I think you're gorgeous. Thank you again for coming on the show. I can't wait to get to know you more on this episode and talk about all your accomplishments because at the end of the day, Kaylin's a boss bitch. Like she, you can't tell her nothing. So go get your titties lifted, girl, okay? I'm about to get this Brazilian ass lift and it's nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So Kaylin, for anybody who might not know you, why don't you introduce yourself to us? Talk to us a little about your life growing up, where you're from and all that. Okay. So my name is Kaylin Flores. Um, I am originally from West, um, uh, about 30 minutes up the road. Yeah, yeah. I know where West is. So, <laughs> born and raised there. 
um, came to Waco um, probably about maybe 15 years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Been living in Waco yeah. ever since. Gotcha. Um, but my family's from here. So. Yeah. Do you miss Wes? I mean, to be honest with you, me and my husband recently moved out right, back right. that way. So yeah. now I'm kind of back in that small town oh, feel okay. that I've had. Yeah, okay, I got it. You know, everybody says that West has the best clotches. I'm really For sorry. Sure. Well, I'm sorry I have to disagree. I really do. I can't. I, I, they're good. But they're Please not don't best. tell me. Please don't tell me who's your favorite. Girl, okay, you know who I F with heavy is Daylight Donuts. No. <laughs> I know, shut up. Everybody's going to kill me That's for that. That's a fake kolache. But, but it's delicious. It's big. They got the big meat. Uh, but yeah. Oh, but you know who else is good too? It's Lavachix. I mean, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay I'll okay. let you make it with that one. Yeah, okay. No, and then you know, I definitely want to give a shout out to a woman in West who passed away a few years ago. Her name is Mimi. She mm-hmm. was like my spirit animal. I fucking loved her. Do you know her? Mm-hmm. She owned a kolache place over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was actually downtown. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she used to say ours was the best and the only she reason really why. She really did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so and I think I, it's called Old Chick because she's been there for so okay, long. Okay, yeah. Well, and she did pass away a few years ago. So, uh, but shout out to Mimi because I fucking loved her. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know what? I was so, I mean, I'm really happy that you're here, but I really wanted her to bring her husband because I, I saw him on Facebook like one time and a lot of my friends know him, know him. And so um, I wanted him to like at least sit in the background so that way we can play you guys up. It's kind of like, is it okay and fair to say you guys are kind of like an odd couple? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we're definitely polar opposites. Yeah. I'm the, like more of the let's go, like go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Always on go. And yeah. he's more of like the laid back. He's just so chill, yeah. I think it just kind of plays. Okay. Well. What's his name? Colt. Cole, okay, I, I, Cole is going to become really weird, right? But he stood out to me because one time I went out to Fuji with my friend. Shout out to DJ Monstar, who was on an episode of The Public Affair. Does he love Fuji? Loves it. Okay, yeah, because they, they act That's like they know him by, like, face and name. And he's going to think, you're not going to know this, Cole, if he watches this. You're not. You're probably not going to know this, but he was there with another person, another guy. And uh, we were sitting in the same table. It was only us four because it was, like, lunch or something. And uh, I just remember he was just all tattooed all up from head to toe. He's, like, this big and this big around. And then when yeah. I saw that that you were his wife i was like oh wow that's awesome yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. we always get jokes around like you mm-hmm. know iced tea and cocoa sort of thing. oh really <laughs> how did you guys meet or what um facebook facebook oh, yeah. the new so, i mean we we knew i guess of each other just okay. name wise but yeah. didn't really personally know each other so. okay gotcha yeah so it was just around the block and then yeah. you're like what you doing nothing nothing, nothing. And so good. <laughs> met and then been together ever since oh that's cute well, <laughs> Ups congr- and downs, congr- congr- of course don't we all have that yeah. yeah you know i had silas nasita on this show a couple episodes ago right because i'm ahead we <laughs> talked about relationships and um he was saying how he's abstinent to the point where he doesn't kiss his girlfriend right because if he kisses his girlfriend he's gonna want to have sex with her i'm like well, yeah you know of what course. i mean like what do you feel about yeah. that like i mean because me kaylin listen i in the first date it's on and popping like i I've lost all morals. I mean, to like, each their own. Whatever yeah. works for you. I think but it's cute, and I'd love to meet his girlfriend in person and him like together and see how, see they, how like, that meshes. How, see how that meshes? Yeah, because like I mean, you know, he's he was very open about being like a, a whore back in the day, and now he's not. So yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I just I, now I just want to ask everybody about that. I just love talking about that episode out now. Let's see. So anyway, <laughs> okay, so uh, you know, um, like I said earlier, Kalen is an absolute boss. It seems like you juggle a lot of different businesses in town. Um, one of them being Dollhouse Aesthetics. Then you also have your own smoke shop. Um, called Elevate, which, ooh, by the way, I just want to show off some of the presents that you yeah, bought me, please. Okay. So, um, and which, by the way, I have a lot of men in the show. Like, I always call the girls my queens because I don't have a lot of women on the show because it's called that public affair. And so, um, Kaylin bought me presents, okay? And let me tell you guys something. Uh, men need to step it up on this show, okay? Yeah, because they ain't getting me Period. shit. Yeah, all right? <laughs> I'll get you guys on the show. Listen, can I just show off some of the shit you bought me? Yeah, I was, I can't wait. Oh, listen, okay. Look, she got me fucking Doritos that are barbecue sauce flavor. What do you, like, so this is all from Elevate, right? Yes, so and these got, are all from Elevate. Okay. We carry a bunch of different, um, like, exotic brands. Yeah. So, overseas. From, like, other countries. Yeah, okay. other countries. Right. So, where do they sell these? Um, That one is probably, let's see, this one. Let's see. <laughs> I'll have to read. Yeah. We have to like read the Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. And this is definitely like a Middle East. Thailand. Thailand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not Middle East. Sorry. But this looks bomb as F. Like, so these are, I'm assuming Lay's just like, you know, by the brand. (laughs) And then you got me different sodas. And that's, um, that's our, the Houston brand, Exotic Pop. So they, they have their own like pineapple soda. So that's the Fat Pat. Okay, I was going to Ghetto Dreams Pineapple Soda. Mm-hmm. I bet that tastes really delicious. None of this is going to make me high, is it? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. So that one's we from got Thailand. Thailand. from Japan. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hold on, wait, darling. Oh, my friends are going to love this one. She got me a vape pen. <laughs> explain, you were explaining to me what this vape pen was outside. You, um, so it's CBD. Um, okay. Delta 8 is like the newest 
like version of CBD okay. that people really enjoy. So it's just a throwaway. So basically, you can use it and then throw it away. Oh, re- so it's like a one time use. And they like- still have like the same types of strands. Okay. Um, it's but, really cute. Yeah. Yeah, so explain to me what CBD is because I listen. I don't smoke weed or anything, but um, a lot of my friends do. Right. <laughs> so, uh, what is the difference, I guess, between CBD and like just regular weed? So, like your your weed obviously has like THC. Okay. So CBD is going to be like the same, like growing and all right. that, but you're just not going to have the THC, like the chemicals that, oh, that make okay. it. So I could smoke this and pass a drug test at my job. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So I'm not going to get. I mean, like again, I don't smoke weed again. But, uh, but, no, you know, yeah, yeah, this is this is okay. completely legal. Well, I think it's super cute. Thank you again. <laughs> I, we have. So, I mean, she gave me a bath bomb. Uh, we yeah. got the T-shirt. Thank you again for spoiling me. You're so cute, darling. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to kind of um, touch base a little bit on this T-shirt. Anti-social social club. What is that? So it was actually made by somebody that was kind of going through some mental things okay. um, on his own. Um, he put out like one line yeah. as he was going through it, and it's just kind of like become the hype clothing this whole now. Thing. So yeah, okay. now like I mean, people will buy them for like forty bucks when he does releases. Yeah, you probably won't get them for like six months, but then when you get them, they're resold for like one twenty and up. Oh like, wow, it's crazy. So he okay. does different lines, different seasons. Okay, um, you have to be able to kind of almost like get an invite to be able to purchase. Oh wow, Ooh, so it's like exclusive, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna put some of the presents that you got me on camera yeah. behind the water, and then we're good to go. All <laughs> right, so why don't you? talk to me a little bit about becoming a business owner like i mean was there like a job you were working on you're like fuck this shit uh, like well, how did that all happen so i mean as a matter of fact i did hair so i graduated oh, okay. um cosmetology school back in 2008 yeah i had always kind of like dabbled in hair but yeah. it wasn't like a passion for me okay um it i knew that i wanted to work for myself right and right. i was too mouthy to work for other people <laughs> So I've, I've just learned that about myself. So too. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like one of those things that you were like doing it to get by, mm-hmm. but it wasn't. Like you weren't happy. Yeah, I wasn't happy. You weren't happy. Okay. Um. So, in 2017 is yeah. when my father passed away, oh, and no. I was born and um raised by him. Right. I mean, I lived with my mom for a little bit, and I have siblings with her. Right. Um. But for the most part, my dad raised me. Okay. So that was kind of like a culture shock for me. Right. I was definitely. a only child with him. Yeah. Um. He made sure, I mean, like, things were taken care of. Okay, you know, got you. I, I mean, I still had to work, but yeah, yeah. I always but had him to fall girl. back on. Yeah, yeah I always had sure. him to fall back on. Okay. Um, so when he passed away, I just remember, like, the last couple months that I was taking care of him. Right. Him just telling me, like, you need to figure out, like, what you're going to do. Okay, You gotcha. know, like, be prepared to yeah. be without me, you know, whichever way. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't until then, in that same year that mm-hmm. my dad passed away, I actually had my first plastic surgery oh okay so having that first plastic surgery yeah kind of like built a monster oh, okay. <laughs> like a monster <laughs> like is it like tattoos where you become addicted to it um if you ask my husband yes yeah okay. like he hates it he really? hates it he, wait he hates he, the he tattoos hates plastic he, surgery does he he hates plastic i'm sure surgery. he enjoys the way you look though i mean uh yeah listen, you, sure. listen kaylin has a great ass and you have great body <laughs> and you. like yes you, and you like i said you should i was gonna ask you to wear something like a lot more revealing but i didn't want to disrespect you <laughs> and i didn't want colt to come beat me up either because i don't yeah i don't know if he knows i'm gay because <laughs> i do really well at hiding it so. well <laughs> yeah i mean so that all that all yeah. happened um and then you know he was really a uh-huh. lot of the backbone with my businesses as well just okay. kind of like pushing me to you know figure it out what i wanted to do right um this so, was your dad well colt as and well colt as well so, okay got you you know we had already been together for a while and yeah. um that year was just really rough for us as far uh-huh. as like losing my dad mm. and you know just going through a bunch of different things okay. so once i had the plastic surgery i kind of started trying to learn more about the body and yeah. try to figure things out. So I actually was going and having like some some sessions done, yeah. which is kind of what we do now. So I was having these done in Dallas and um, I was paying a lot. Yeah, I was yeah. paying crazy amounts. Just and my husband was like, uh, no, we're not doing this <laughs> uh, all the okay. time. Gotcha. So and then driving all the time to Dallas and he was like, figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I went home and I had some friends that I would talk to and they would they were really encouraging. Right. Um, so I just kind of went out on a limb and did it. OK. Um, not much. What was your first plastic surgery? So my first surgery, 
was my breast okay. and my butt at the same time. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. So did you go to, okay, uh, and you, uh, you know, we just jumped right into this because I want to <laughs> talk about that later, but that's okay. I, I, I'm, I have so many questions about that. <laughs> so um, when, when you got your breast and your ass done, uh, did you go to like one of those like countries where you don't know the language? And they no, I went it? to yeah, Miami. Oh, you went to Miami. Did you go to Dr. So, Miami or you went to Miami? I didn't go to Dr. Miami. <laughs> okay. I actually, at the time in 2017, uh-huh. it was a new doctor. He, new facility, and now yeah. he's like second nature. Like people hear oh, wow. of this facility all the time. So I went to yeah. Mia Aesthetics. Okay. Um, Dr. Alvarez did my first surgery. Well, then I went back again when uh-huh. he moved to Austin. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I had another one by him in Austin. Yeah. Um, and then just recently, last year, I went and had a tummy tuck in oh, Miami okay. again. Wow. So you just go to Miami and get all this work. That, so is there not anybody here local? I, and I don't know. So is there not anybody here locally that does stuff like that? Yeah, or? there. Oh, there's okay. a lot of doctors. I think it's personal choice. Whatever yeah, okay. you, you decide. I mean, do your research yeah, more definitely. than anything. Yeah. So I did my research. Um, I kind of fell in love with his work. I yeah. trusted him, and so I continued to go to him. Yeah, that's so. no, that's good. Okay, so, but were you? So what size were your boobs before you got them done? I and, mean, I was always voluptuous. <laughs> I guess you could say. Like I was, all, I've always been like bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um. But before, I think they were just like a C. Oh, but okay. you know, like having a, having children, and I have one, so yeah. I mean that obviously just changes your body. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Women so. always say that that it really just fucks up, well, not fucks up your body, but you know what I mean, yeah. right? Like it changes yeah. like the whole like your boobs are down here now, and yeah, and, yeah, and you just want like. Like, yeah. Kaylin's boobs, if you guys ever look at her Facebook, they're just like like this. I, every woman's dream, okay? <laughs> so wait, no. no, do not base those pictures on my real life. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. No, I can't ask you to lift your shirt up because right. then we'll get flagged on YouTube. Somebody will fucking report me, yeah. I had Isabel Garcia on this show. She's oh, an yeah. old, OnlyFans yeah. model, yeah. yeah. Um, we had to cover the area only one time. And so, you know, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying not to get flagged, but I love, right. I love a woman's body, even though I'm gay. Like, I, I just, I really appreciate a woman's body. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's cute, yeah. Like, the boobs. And how, how did you get your ass done? Is that silicone or? No, so it's actually okay. my fat, so it's mine. Oh. I just moved it to another area. Wait, so was the fat from, like, your stomach? Yeah, or? so how it was, like, work? from my stomach. Okay. Um, and my back, they just, you know, take it out. It's almost like refurbishing it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like send it through, clean BJ it. BJ Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Frank, uh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do we, this? Yeah, we gotta refer- I want to refurbish my body, okay? Yeah. That's such a good idea. You know, I've been working out at Soko Soccer Academy, and I'm trying to get this ass, like... You know what I mean? I, re- I really go. want one of those, like, Well, then you need asses. to come to Dollhouse. We got you. Uh, you are you going to inject yeah. my ass? Okay, no, cool. we're not oh, going to take my fat. No, we're going to oh. use vacuum therapy. Oh, vacuum therapy. So it's okay. non-invasive. Oh, got you. So, so is getting the fat out of you, I guess, is that more of a safer, natural approach? Or? And it actually, no. The BBL oh, okay. is actually very dangerous. It's yeah. one of the most dangerous procedures that, that people do. Um, right. And it's just because... It's, I mean, it's super invasive. Right, right. Um, they're going in, I mean, like, a lot. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen it. I mean, it, they put you to sleep, though, don't they? Yeah, or? they put you to sleep, but it's actually very dangerous. Because oh, wow. of no, blood clots. Um, mm-hmm. They can actually inject fat into, like, the wrong places, which oh, wow. could, like, kill you instantly. Oh, hell no. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually super, I mean, a lot of people chicken out. So why why the choice of that or just regular silicone ass shots? Like, um, don't think that those are legal anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So what else have you had done? This? So you had the boobs, you got the tummy tuck, you yes. got the butt. Okay. So lipo, boobs, tummy tuck, okay. um, my butt. Yeah. And that's it so far. Oh, okay, got you. So, but is there a re- like, I want to get Botox, okay? So I've had Botox. Oh, I've had okay. injections. Yeah. I mean that, but, but I don't, don't really, really consider count that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah but you so know what? counting that. But did you mention <laughs> earlier that your husband, Cole, is not really into that? But no, like, he's oh, not God. into it at all. So okay. like every, any time that I've went, he's like, you're on your own. Like, I'm oh, not. Okay. So like, even when I would come home after... He was like, I'm not taking care of you. <laughs> like, he doesn't like blood. He doesn't like, oh, you know, okay. like all so of it's that just stuff. That he, but I'm sure he thinks you're very sexy. I mean, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. Because okay, <laughs> she is. Yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, Kayla, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, like I, I always like you look like a whole supermodel on, on social Thank media. You, you do. You Thank take you. you play up the pictures really well. But she comes here today just jeans and sneakers. Like you're very just casual. This is, today. Yeah. And I'm always yeah. like this. Okay, and most of the you. time I don't even I'm not even wearing right. makeup. So if you come to any of my businesses, you'll see that. Okay. Got you. So. Um, was there a you mentioned earlier that the when you got the plastic surgery that it really gave you like I guess yeah. a, almost a boost in confidence or like kind of um, made the monster not monster but you know what I mean it, like it just opened up a world okay. um to me that I was able to like change people's lives as well okay, so gotcha. I started just doing my own research and figuring out my own techniques right. to um be able to retrieve results yeah so once we did that um I 
picked up that method and okay. just started going. Okay, um, I got so you. I was at Dollhouse and I had like my one little suite. Yeah. And it just grew so fast. So yeah. now we have four techs. So hey. shout out to my Dollhouse girls. Yes, all the girls. <laughs> um, we have three hairstylists. We okay. have two lash techs. We have um two makeup artists. We actually just added another one. So three oh, makeup okay. artists. Yeah. Um, and we just added another hairstylist. So four hairstylists. Oh, okay. Um, we have one men's stylist. I okay. wanted to say barber, but she's not a barber. She's not a barber. Okay. Yeah. So, but she specializes mm-hmm. in men's hair. Okay, and then we you. have an esthetician as well. Oh, okay. So like facials, waxing, sugaring. Yeah, everything. yeah. So I got you. So, but what, what was the the decision like? Why why plastic surgery? Like, why were you like this is what I want to do? Like, this is going to create a new me? Or you know, back then it wasn't as common as it is now. Okay. Um. So I I just knew that I wanted to to do something to make myself feel better. I mean. That year was like a year of grief for me. Okay. So I was like, I just needed to pick me up something. Right. So when I started talking about people thought I was crazy. Even my mom, she was like, you want your butt bigger? Like, (laughs) (laughs) you know, like that's unheard of. Don't we all though? I do. I want my ass But now in 2021, Mm -hmm. it's something that you hear every day. Right. You know, if you're in a room full of women... 10 of 20 probably have plastic surgery of some sort. Whether it be their boobs or anything. Yeah. So whatever the case may be. Okay. So. Would you say it was kind of an escapism for you? Yes. Like, okay. So, and I, and I loaded up, I went by myself. I took my 16 year old sister. She just barely turned 16. And I was like desperate for someone to go and take care of me. Somebody that I knew, but I knew my husband wasn't going to, um, and then my mom couldn't. So I was like, Load up. You're 16. Happy okay. birthday. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Miami. Yeah, we're going to Miami. <laughs> and I'm having plastic surgery. Exactly. So talk about scarred for life. Oh, wow. But no, she's actually went and took care of me again. <laughs> mm-hmm. And crazy enough, she actually works um, for me. And she's oh, one cool. of my body techs now. Oh. So I think it's really like set her up. You yeah. know, she, she knows a lot about, you know, the plastic surgery uh-huh. and how to take care of it and post-op. And, oh, shit. So. Yeah. Oh, God. And so do you, did you deal with a lot of ridicule behind it, though? Because like, I think that, uh, back in the day, we discussed that a lot of people used to get judged hardcore yes. for it. And you know, let me tell you something. When I get these Botox injections and I look like Joan Rivers when I'm 70 years old, I don't want to hear a damn thing. OK, <laughs> it's my money. Let me do me. Um, was there a lot of ridicule behind your plastic surgery decision? And how did you like? Like, stay above the fray and stay strong and move forward from that. Most definitely. I think there still is. I think okay. that people still, and and it might not be to my face or, like, something that I hear about. But right. I, it's there. Okay, it's yeah. there all the time. Right. Um, You know, and people run out of things to say, so it's like, oh, your butt's fake. I'm like, of course well, it of is. Of course it is. <laughs> I don't care. Like, okay, you know what I mean? I wanted it that way. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think that, you know, it's something that is untalked about, but yeah. it's highly, like, conversational like people of, yeah. want to talk about it but it's right. almost like they don't know like your first thing when you ask me you're like i don't want to disrespect you yeah. but how do you feel about it and exactly I'm like, well it's like a lot of the men i sleep with nobody ever wants to talk about it but we do it anyway <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah it's true it's a bunch of straight men. anyway I get back. anyway so that went off topic sorry <laughs> you know what uh, well i'm so i think I, I i think you're very brave for talking about it you know and like I, I, without disrespecting you, it's, it's obvious. Do you right. know what I mean? Like oh, nobody's yeah. ass is just naturally. That I mean, I'm, I'm in the yeah. store all the time. And yeah. yes, as a matter of fact, yesterday I was in Marshall's and I hear a group of women saying it must be in the water. Are you serious? <laughs> and I'm like, and I, you know, I want to just be like, no, it's Miami. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you know, it, that's what I'm saying. Like some people are, uh-huh. will approach you and yeah. some so, people. Okay. So, but so when you do the work on all your, when your body like that, mm-hmm. okay. So, um, like, are you not as conserved when it goes to showing off your assets? Like, I mean, will you like walk around topless or take pictures nude or no? Or maybe just you and your husband. Doing that? You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So like for my husband, yeah, but yeah. I mean, for the most part, I mean, I might wear like a crop top, okay. um, but that's that's pretty much it. I just feel like so. I'm a mother. So. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I, I got <laughs> you know, you, like yes. more than anything, and like yeah. my 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 kids. So our oldest, um, he'll be 19. Okay, um, and then we have an 18 year old. So like, right. Out of respect for them, too. Oh, I wouldn't okay. want to. Girl, let me tell you something, though. If I had all that work on my body, then I spend all that money. I'm about to take every new but picture. I think, but I think, like, regardless okay. of what I wear, it's, okay. it's evident. It's a, Yeah, I got you. Okay. I'm just saying, if I spent that much money, I would right. walk around with nothing on. Just boots <laughs> to the sky like this. Oh, hey. In Marshalls. What's up? You know, 8000 a pop. You know? How much money would you say you spent on plastic surgery? <laughs> I believe the fit. <laughs> oh, we don't believe the fit on the bottom. Okay, you don't have to say. Yeah. We don't want to put your little financial business out there. It's, yeah, I got you. Well, thank you for sharing that. You know, I definitely want to talk about Dollhouse Aesthetics. So as we mentioned earlier, you are one of my new sponsors of The Public Affair, and I really thank you for that. Thank you for reaching out to do that. Um, uh, I actually had, uh, do you know Angie Reyes? Yes, I Okay, love she's Angie. one of your beauticians. Is that so, who? Yeah, yeah, she does hair and okay. lashes. Yeah, so shout out to her husband, Ezekiel. He, yes. he actually works for... Um, 
um, Elite Bar. I'm sorry, yes. said Elite Barber Shop, mm-hmm. uh, my barber, who's one of my sponsors, and she sponsored a couple episodes of the Public Affair, Public Affair as well. Um, why don't you talk to me a little bit about what Dollhouse Aesthetics actually is and what you guys offer and such? Okay, so Dollhouse, um, it's a full service salon, but we offer um, non invasive treatments to okay. be able to tackle and like the fat cells. Yeah. So we can remove them um, naturally through okay. your lymphatic system. So there's no pain and no downtime. Um, we also can os- offer like vacuum therapy, okay. which can plump and mold, yeah. you know, your butt yeah. or even your breast. Um, oh, okay. Whatever choice. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> um, My ass for sure. But yeah. yeah. So a lot of non invasive <laughs> right. um, procedures that can enhance okay. your figure. Got you. So, but is it more like a spa, would you say? Or? I would say uh, it's really laid back there. Um, okay. When you walk in, you will automatically get good vibes. Like gotcha. everybody there is just like for you. Okay, If gotcha. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So everybody just wants to see everybody um, feel their best, yeah. whatever it may be. So okay. one person might come in and, you know, love their body right. and just want their hair done. And the next one hates their hair and wants just their body or whatever. The okay, gotcha. Be, yeah. So. But, but you guys offer, like, welcoming vibes to yes, every yes, type of person, all shapes person. and sizes. And we're yeah. actually, like, in the middle of a huge remodel right now. So oh, okay. we're actually expanding everything. So Ooh. we're going to have even more stuff Look at you, Kaylin. Yeah. Stop it. I'm getting all intimidated <laughs> over here and stuff with your business yeah, mask yeah. and stuff. Okay. You know? Um, and so so it's it's not like a day spa, like we mentioned, but more for just, like, a cosmetic thing but yes. outside of just hair. You know so, what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, the only, like, spa type stuff is that non-invasive, but we right. we keep it very relaxing. Okay. Um, but not so spa ish. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, but we, like I said, we have the esthetician who does facial, so she does all of our like spa type stuff. Okay. So she keeps it super relaxing and yeah. spa ish in there. Yes. Um, but other than <laughs> that, you you might walk into some country one day. You might right, walk right. into some nineties. You might have R and B. It just kind of mm-hmm. varies from day to day. And it's not just geared for just women though, no. right? Like so, so we just yeah. recently added. <laughs> Um, Miranda, which okay. she has been cutting men's hair for probably 14, 15 years now. Oh, wow. Okay. So she's not considered a barber, but she yeah. is a man stylist. Okay. I got so. you. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, you know, we can't just be like, mm-hmm. yeah, because then she'll be like, I stick over. Yeah, so, yeah. But no, I think that's pretty cool. So, because, you know, when people hear the name Dollhouse Aesthetics, I don't want them to think that it's only geared for oh, women. Oh, no. Like, we men have a lot of too. men come in. So we have okay. a lot of men that do um, the body services. We have men that come in for for color for yeah. waxing a lot of different things okay cool yeah. and so what was your inspiration behind dollhouse aesthetics so like so why why make something like that here in town so there wasn't really and like we said before uh-huh. it was plastic surgery and like changing the body wasn't something that was really talked about but right. i feel like it's something that can boost someone's confidence level right um so like i said well, i was going to dallas and I was like, you know what? We don't have anything like this here. Waco, so right. I was actually like practicing on my husband for a while. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy enough. Yeah. Um, and then as we started talking, he's the one that gave me the idea behind the name of Dollhouse. Right. Um, so we just kind of took it and ran with it. Oh, okay. And so now we actually have four locations. You know, it's just so, really? Yes. So okay. we have two in Houston. Right. Um, we have Dallas and we have Fort Worth. Girl, how do you Waco. manage? Just a lot of coffee. Okay. <laughs> a lot of coffee. No, you know, it's so cute, like, for you to say that you were practicing on your husband because I only unofficially met him that one right. time. And he looks like he just sits there. He's just like. Yeah, he's just so <laughs> you know? chill. Yeah. I mean, there were times that he'd be like, you're not doing that on me. Right, but, right. I mean, for the most part, he would just take it from me. So what were the things that you practiced on him? Was it like the, was it the body contouring? <laughs> yeah, so the body or? contouring. I mean, he I looks mean, like he's every bit of 95 pounds. So maybe he doesn't need that. Uh, but. Maybe a buck of one. Okay. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he would let me pretty much do whatever. And then okay. obviously like my sisters, my mom, whoever, yeah. whoever at the, at the time would let me okay. do something on them. So like just doing the research and like figuring out how the body works will, like help me build a plan yeah, yeah. to be able to offer these services. Okay. And then I even started training people. Now it seems like they're, they're everywhere. Like right. the non-invasive body contouring okay. is everywhere, but um, I don't regret it. I feel like That's it's good. gotten yeah. me. You do you know, think, do you think the town accepted that? A lot? Like cause Waco's a small town. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people are into things like that. So, I think yeah. that it was skeptical at first. But okay. when you come in and you've actually seen and you've had services with us that you realize like how right. like awesome it makes you feel. Yeah. Um, you might get minimum results, but you just feel so much better. And yeah. I think that right there is is worth far more than what money. Yes, definitely. And I think I think it's fair to say that so many years ago, like Waco was very conserved. Yeah. A lot of people. And I still think that they are a little yeah. bit. Um, it's. 
you know, you get some crazy looks. Like you, when, <laughs> when we're, and we talk about this before, when I'm in Austin or Houston uh-huh. or Dallas, I can kind of dress a little bit more freely. Okay. Um, you know, showing the midriff and stuff yeah. around here, people will kind of give you people some give like you the looks. Stairs. Yeah. But I, I definitely think the town is growing out of that yeah. slowly but surely. And I think a lot of people needed a, a place like that, like dollhouse aesthetics, to feel like they're not being judged yeah, for, for, sure. for the way they look or anything like that. You know what I mean? Because it's it's easy to tell somebody, yeah, get up and go to the gym, lose weight, yeah. but then some people would choose that. And, I'm, and even the people that do go to the gym and yeah. never miss a beat with the gym, we have those people that come oh, really? in and we have those people that work on those hard to reach areas that okay. even the gym doesn't help. So right. just knowing that this is for all types of people yeah so explain to me what the body contouring is though so because like I, like so i go to the gym i drop weight my stomach mm-hmm. goes down because you know i can wear extra large shirts now <laughs> so, yeah. so the body contouring is that kind of like the same thing or, or does it like define it or how does that work so so the lipo cavitation uh-huh. um uses ultrasound um to break up your fat cells oh, okay. so it turns them into liquid basically emulsifies them into oh. liquid Um, And we use vacuum therapy to Uh move that to your lymphatic system. And then we use radio frequency, which is lower levels of lasers, to go ahead and tighten the skin. Oh, wow. Because you don't want to be left with, like, loose skin afterwards. Right. So, um, like I was saying, you are able to combat those hard-to-reach areas, you know, love handles. Um, For women, it's that bottom part, like, for C-section. Okay. Like, the baby pouch. Yeah. Um, the bra fat. Yeah, yeah. Places like that. You know, you know, I think my best friend's wife would actually love dollhouse aesthetic. Not that she needs it. She doesn't. Lupita looks great. But I th- it sounds like she's really into, like, looks and stuff. Yeah. And she's very pretty and stuff. And I, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to bring her over for a session. Yeah. I am. You guys speak Spanish over there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So, Nelly, um, and a lot of people have seen Nelly because Nelly is, like, our TikTok mama. She's oh, really? always on TikTok. <laughs> always making TikToks. Yeah. Um, so, she's kind of, like, our face behind dollhouse. Okay. Um, she does a lot of our social media content, and right. she speaks Spanish. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, no, I bet I think that she would really like it. Like, I'm, I'm just thinking about my friend again. She, I don't mean to just like, hi, I'm sorry. She doesn't need it. Like, right. I'm not saying right. she's a fast mom. Just and, to be and, a, I don't, and that's yeah. the good thing about Dollhouse and this, the body contouring, is yeah. that what's for me and what's for you is could be completely different okay. but we all have like the same kind of goals right you know, I got even you. though you might look at me and be like you don't need any work done yeah but i'm looking at myself like i need all of this yeah done. no you know i just because she looks like a doll so i'm thinking doll, like not, yeah. not in any way like i love my best friend's wife lupita i love lupita i just i feel like she'd really like it there you know right. what i mean i really lupita, right. i'm gonna take you i am i, yes, th- I think her. she would like yeah i think she'd really like it for sure yeah. i'm just thinking oh god doll has aesthetic lupita she's gorgeous they're gorgeous yeah. let's go all right and i definitely want to talk about so you you also sponsor the public affair with Elevate, yes. which is your smoke shop in Robinson. Yes. Okay, so and this is where all these gorgeous things came from, which I cannot wait to roll around in these later. Uh, so why don't you uh, talk to us a little bit about what Elevate is and how you the inspiration behind that as well. So the inspiration behind Elevate, we my husband loves like the Colorado uh-huh. vibe and um, the Cali vibe, yeah. um, LA. So, like, going over there and seeing their types of smoke shops and then, like, mm-hmm. coming over here, it was completely different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we would go in smoke shops here and it would just be junk on okay. top of junk, <laughs> you know, you. and, like, stuff that you didn't technically need. Yeah. So, we wanted to bring, like, that fresh face of smoke shop here. So, okay. if you go into our smoke shop, it looks more of, like, it has dispensary vibes. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense. Got you. So, it's very clean. You're not going to find, like like the riffraff of the okay, smoke shop. So I got you're you. going to, it's very, um, it's more exotic. Yeah. It's yeah. more exotic. It's going to be for the exotic smokers. Yeah. Um, we carry a, a wide variety of like chips, uh-huh. um, all different candies. I mean, even from Mexico. I mean, we, oh, really? we get them from all over Yeah, all the drinks. Um, we try to get the things that smoke shops here don't have. Okay. Got so you. even like, for people that um, smoke tobacco, yeah. like the tobacco that they don't have or right. leaves that they don't have. Okay. So. I kind of want to talk a little bit about that, too. So because when I think of smoke shop, I, of course, think of like marijuana and stuff like that. And surely we sell bongs and shit. But like, is there different? We sell water pipes. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think but I think weed's one of those things now where people are just like, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? Like it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. But um, okay. So when you you said you sell different types of tobacco, is mm-hmm. there like like flavored tobacco or like what? How does yeah, that work? Yeah, we have a bunch of different. I mean, all flavored. Water of pipes. course, you have like your um, regular like Swishers, which yeah. is like everybody knows Swisher. Okay. Um, but then we have even like the newer stuff, which is like your backwoods. Right. Um. Nowadays, leaves are really popular, so okay. like they have big old leaves that you can like cut down and use. Oh wow, know, really? Periodically, yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, so 
that kind of came from really my husband. So yeah. I, I was just pushing for, you know, like, I've got a dollhouse, which is my baby. Right. Like, what can we do, like, for you? For that's you. something okay. that you really enjoy. Right. But even though it's for him, I'm really the one <laughs> taking care taking of care everything. Of it. Okay, yeah. So, so but, uh, okay, so I was going to say, so you probably spend a lot of your time, I guess, managing dollhouse and the dollhouses that you to have. To be honest with uh-huh. you, um, I own the tax office, too. So oh, okay, I yeah. actually... During tax season, I'm not at Dollhouse at all. So, oh. like I said, I have um, all of my girls there. So, mm-hmm. two of my sisters work there. Right. Um, so, one of my sisters is kind of like my manager. Right, and right. So, she takes care of everything for me. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of works. Right. Okay. So, you just, you got the tax office. You got Elevate. Yeah. You got Dollhouse Aesthetics. When do you have time for you, Kaylin? When do you have time to go to Miami and get the surgeries? <laughs> like, <laughs> you just make, you know, they always say like you make time for what you want to do okay. or that you make time for the people that are important yeah. to you. So I feel like that's, that's pretty much what I do. And right. I don't, I don't necessarily like do a lot, okay. but I do make that time for myself. I right. think that it's important. Yeah, no, I agree with you too, because I, I even made a post today on my Facebook and, you know, I was saying that this podcast is like my sole purpose. Mm-hmm. Like this is all I do. I mean, I do work a full-time job. I am on Power 108 on the weekend. Right. And then I have this, but this is like something Your I baby. created. This is my baby. Yeah. And then you and I talk because I, you meant, like you mentioned earlier, you can't really work for anybody anymore. Right. I've just discovered. That. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. Just gets harder. yeah. And then when you have a taste of like being on your own exactly. and being your own boss and realizing. Yes. Then it's like, I'm never going back. No, to I can't. And I think after I'm done with my full time gig, like once that's over and done, I can't be working for nobody else anymore. Right. That's it. Like, right. I, I feel like if I can capitalize off of this and make right. this something, which you and I are going to talk about off camera, um, you know? Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah that's it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I think being your own boss, you know, um, it seems like too that um when we did when we talked about your sponsorship, you were really um gung ho or like really emphasizing that you wanted the girls to get recognition yeah. as well. So uh, is it like is there like a women empowerment thing for you? Or are you just about like elevating the people around you or it's it's both. Yeah. Um it's not just about women empowerment, but I think that that's very important, especially right. in this day and age. Women are catty. Yeah. Um, and when you step into the beauty business in itself, you're you're in a whole different world. Okay. You're in a whole different ball game and a, a lot of different creatures. Right. So I like yes. Yeah, so me shouting out my girls and having them have the recognition because they are the ones that are putting in that work yeah. every single day. For sure. Um, and they work really hard. Oh, okay. Um, and I, I'm all about them building their self and building right. their brand as well. So I wouldn't expect for anybody to be with me long-term life. Okay, you know gotcha, what I yeah. mean? Just like I have the vision of like, hey, I don't want to work for anybody. I want right. to work for myself. I want that for all of them. Okay. So if they do or need to leave, um, right. I want them to be confident in their abilities that they can you right. know, function. So at Dollhouse, are, are the women that work there, have they been pretty much long-term? or like, Yes. Yeah. So Angie... Um, Joanna uh-huh. have started with me as hairstylist from the day that I opened oh, the wow. salon. Okay. Um, so going on three years now. Oh, okay. Um, Audrey is our newest and she came straight out of beauty school. Yeah. So I think a year now she's yeah. been there. Um, Danny and Riley, which are my sisters, uh-huh. um, they have been there. Riley has been there three years. Got you. So it started with Nellie and Riley came about the same time. Okay. I can't forget Angie. Angie has um, <laughs> taken some a leave of absence. She has yeah. been there with me from the very she beginning. Has, yeah. Shout out Angie. Um, yeah. Yes. So that's um, Angie Montoya. So she's been okay. there with me from the very beginning. So then Danny and Riley and Nellie all kind of around the same time. Right. Um, And then we also have, let me think. We have Liz, who just recently started with us as an esthetician. Okay. Um, Thalia and Adriana Ooh, Thalia. are makeup <laughs> artists. And then she threads yeah. as well. Um, and then she also does microblading. Oh, okay, so Adriana's cool. just makeup. Yeah. They have been with me since the salon started as right. well. Um, and then we just recently added two more people, but I won't say their names oh, yet. Nice. I won't say their names yet. <laughs> you know, I think but it, but, they're coming. But listening to you really just like you named everybody by their first name, said how long yes. they've been working there. I think it's so important as a business owner for you to do that. Like, yes. you know, all your employees, you know what I, I mean? I love yeah. my girls. And they're, yeah. when I tell you they're my girls and yeah. Miranda, I mentioned her earlier. She just recently came with us. Um, yeah. She's my best friend for like 20 years. Uh, and I've tried to convince her. Uh huh. Um, for years, <laughs> yeah. you know, be your own boss. 
Yeah. It took until this year. Right, right. So she <laughs> recently, just within the last month, has started. With oh, this, really? So. Okay. Well, shout out to Miranda. Yes. I, I think that's so admi- admirable of you. You know, would um, if a man wanted to work there, they, they yeah. could, right? Just yeah, yeah. yeah. We, okay. we don't. Like, could you guys use a barber? Or? Of course, yeah. Oh. Um, so actually, Barbara Abbey was in our building. Oh, she shout wasn't out with us. Okay, that's my girl. That's yes. my neighbor. Oh, is we she? Call, okay. call her she was on, you know, she was on the show. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So she actually rented out. We all rented from the same um landlord. Okay. So she was just in there. So it was always a misconception that she was with Dollhouse, oh, okay. which she wasn't. She was her own. Um, she was her yeah. own entity. Yes. Yeah. Um. And I'm so glad to see her, you know, blossoming and doing all of those things. But yeah, Barbara. Yeah. We're here for it. Okay, yeah, that would be tight. You know what? I definitely want to come in there and get some facial work done. You know, maybe uh-huh. some cream. You know, yeah. what I, mean? I don't know. Like, I don't know something. Like, I, I'll get you a little kit put together. Sure. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I'm in for it. I we went to Oklahoma. Me and some friends. Uh, shout out to Vicky, Ash, April, Jose, Becca. Who am I missing? That's it. And me, right? Oh my god, am I mis- no, I'm not missing anybody. We went to Oklahoma a couple years ago. We went to a spa, and mm-hmm. you know how you're supposed to relax in those types of things. You know, well, I, you're, I was over there talking, talking shit. Like, you know, I just think that he thinks that I want him, and I really know he just wanted to come over. <laughs> and we just, but I work on Power 108 too, and you should listen. And you know, it's not here, but you know, and just always the, marketing. Yeah, the, the girls just like anyway, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, so I mean, you know, I really want to work. I'm gonna tell you that I'm the worst client. All of my girls can tell you. Really? Um, Is it because you talk too much? Or? No, because I'm constantly working. So. Oh. I'm on my phone. I'm like, oh. ha- I have an eye half open yeah, when they're yeah. doing my lashes. Yeah. Like- They'll tell you I'm the worst. Oh, yeah. You know what, though? I've caught myself being that way, too, though, Kaylin. Because a lot of people say, well, if you just have one guest, like, what, what's, like, no. how are you so busy? No, there's so much more to well, it. Well, there's like, so much more behind yeah, the scenes that people don't that see. Don't, they don't see, so, exactly. And then being not only the owner of the dollhouse here in Waco, yeah. um, but being the founder of all of them, it it comes with a lot. And oh, just girl, being, yeah. making sure that everything runs smoothly, right. not only for me, but in the, their businesses, the ones that have franchised out those. Right locations because it's not just come and go yeah exactly it's not just you come and learn and that's that's a big thing that we do for trainings too it's not like you just come and learn we we set you up for your future and try to get you you know established and that you know that that, that's really awesome and so and then so you would say that colt pretty much works at elevate and it's just colt yeah (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. i mean we have workers um at elevate as well so shout out to our workers at elevate um they keep things running smoothly. Cole is not, he's not the computer like savvy one. Okay, gotcha. But as far as like he does all of our purchasing. So he's oh, like okay. purchasing for Elevate. So if there's anything new and cool that comes out, Cole's yeah. going to know about it and he's going to make sure <laughs> that it's in the smoke shop. So that's I kind of cool. leave that all to him. Yeah. But as far as like all the, the black and white background stuff, that's okay. me. Oh, I got you. I think that's so great. I, I just, you know, would you say that there's a lot of misconceptions about you? Because, okay, so you get the plastic surgery. So you, like, people say, oh, she looks like a doll. She looks plastic, whatever. She must be a stupid ass. But then you're a boss. Like, would you say you got a lot of ridicule uh, behind that? Like, do you think a lot of people misconceive who you are yeah, because of the looks? Um, and I think a, the thing that I've gotten the most is, like, that I'm unapproachable. And I feel like... really. And then those that truly know me and, uh-huh. and know me personally, <laughs> they know that that is... the the furthest thing furthest from the truth. Thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm as helpful as can be. So okay. anybody that knows me um, will also tell you that I yeah. want to see people be successful. And I want to see, you know, if if I have some information that could possibly help you out, yeah. like I'm willing to give you that information. Right. I don't hold that back. And I want to second that because the first time we talked on the phone, you talked to me about making this a whole brand <laughs> and, you know, making this a business. And you, like, I'm willing to help. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Um, you were very kind on the phone. You were very, even when we first met, I mean, we hugged. Kaylin, don't be scared of Kaylin. She's awesome. Okay. <laughs> and she's you. gorgeous. And she, um, no, never mind. She won't do that. Okay. So, <laughs> so what's next for you, Kaylin? I mean, so you got all the businesses. Uh, you, you try to make time to like go on these trips and stuff like that. Like, what do you do outside of work? Like, I mean, what are you guys into? I mean, I mean do you guys go out and such? Or? I mean, we don't really go out much. Yeah. Um, really family oriented. We spend a lot of time with our kids. We have oh, our okay. kids every weekend. Yeah. Um, my daughter's in softball and we're, just, you know, family stuff. Yeah. I mean, we try to just enjoy ourselves we do try to like go out of town my favorite thing is shopping of course my husband hates it (laughs) but so if you ask him what we do for fun yeah (laughs) um, but i mean we're foodies so we love to like eat we love to like that's probably like our love language is like going and eating (laughs) like fuji three or four three or four times a day exactly yeah i got um, you but yeah i mean what's next i don't i don't know we'll see i don't think we're done 
I don't, don't think so either. I don't it's, think we're done. It seems like there's a lot more going on with dollhouse aesthetics, and there, it seems like there's a, there is most yeah. definitely. We have a few new locations opening up soon, Dang and I won't girl. release those oh! yet either. <laughs> we're supposed to get um, on the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um, I can tell you that uh-huh. um, we have a brand new Fort Worth location Ooh. opening soon. So okay. shout out to Emily. Um, Emily owns our Dallas location, and yeah. she is. She franchised that for me. So okay. um, she's also franchising a Fort Worth location. Got so, you. Um, she's doing great over there. Um, and then we are recently just announced that we are doing a training in Austin. Yes, so I saw that. All of our Austin peeps, you know, be ready. <laughs> be ready, and you're ready to be your own boss. Oh and we gosh. say that. Yeah. And, and we mean it. Like, yeah. if you want to work for yourself and you want to, you know, expand your brand right. and, and, you know, really get a name for yourself, okay. reach out. So uh, obviously you would recommend these types of, um, I guess, treatments or such. Yes, like, for sure. Would you recommend plastic surgery to women? I recommend do whatever it is that makes you happy. Okay. Um, plastic surgery isn't for everyone. Right. Um, working on your body in general is not for everyone. Right. So I'd say do whatever makes you happy, but yeah. um, do your research and, okay. you know, keep in mind that, you know, there are risks to everything that we do in right. life. And Absolutely. Know, make sure that you do what is the healthiest for you and your body. For sure, yeah. And then one more thing before we wrap up here, Kaylin. I want to know, obviously, there has to be competition, especially in the bigger markets. How does Kaylin stay above the fray and doesn't, like, you know, fight with the other businesses and such like that? How do, how do you keep from the cattiness that's in the beauty world? I just don't entertain it. Okay. I, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, yes. So if, I, if it's not affecting me or right. my family, right. um, first and foremost, like it's not important. It's irrelevant. And, yeah. you know, if it's not directed, it's not respected. Yeah. Okay, sort well, of thing. I see. Well, you know what? I'm So where can we, where is Dollhouse Aesthetics located and where is Elevated? So located? Dollhouse Elevate. is located at 716 Lake Air Drive. Okay. Um, We are right in the middle of like Valley Mills and Sanger. So Okay. And then Elevate is 3301 Robinson Drive. So it's the old precinct building right beside the pharmacy. Oh, okay. Got you. I think I want to say my parents might live back there. So right when you turn off of um, Garden. Yeah. um, Turn to the right, like going towards Robinson and we're right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell my dad. I bet he'd really, dad, go to Elevate. It's right by the house. Like he'll love it. Yeah. Because my dad. Anyway, so <laughs> him, him and your husband might get along. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. They might get along really. They might be best friends. I might end up going to my parents' house one day. And they're just called he like, might okay, have so. already came in. They, if it might <laughs> have. I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to put my dad's business out there. I love, yeah, anyways. <laughs> you know, Kaylin, I really appreciate you coming on to the show. I'm, I, I really thank you again for your sponsorship. And, you know, I hope that you'll continue to do so more in the future as much as you can. And I really appreciate you reaching out to me and um, wanting to help me um, elevate this brand. So I plugged it, right? <laughs> and so, um, you know, I, I, I hope for good things for you in the future. And I, I really hope to see Dollhouse Aesthetics become bigger. Obviously, it's huge, but, you know, become bigger. And I want to see Elevate become bigger in all your endeavors as well. Well, so I thank, appreciate it. And thank course. you for having me. Yeah, and thank you for being so open about the plastic surgery and letting me um, recognize your double D, triple D boobs. <laughs> let me get it right. Okay. <laughs> Any more plastic surgery plans in the future? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because my husband's going to see this. And he's going to be like, you <laughs> said no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cole. Okay. <laughs> well, again, Caitlin, thank you so much. Again, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this episode of The Public Affair. Don't forget to subscribe right here. Um, of course, I'm going to give a shout out to a few more of our sponsors of The Public Affair. Definitely to Elite Barbershop with my boy Sid Rodriguez, located on Hewitt Drive. You can download the Cut app or call the number on the screen to book. He also has Marcus, Gu- Marcus Guerrero over there, Chris Reyes, and Santos Cordova, making you look all hot and sexy. And Chris Reyes is the husband of Angie Reyes at Dollhouse Aesthetics. So shout out to you, Chris. I love you. Of course, the fat boy Michelada Botana with Junior Banda. They provide the best Michelada Botana plates for yourself or for a party. They're locally operated. Make sure you get the best and not the rest. I had my Botana tray the other day, rolled around in it, and it's the dish. I'm going to bring you one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring you one, okay? Um, of course, the Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez. They're located on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also have open play on Friday nights, which gets mad lit. I bought him a Botana tray the other day, and it was crunk. I loved it. And they also specialize in soccer training and fitness training with Dominic Gutierrez and Isaac and London Carrillo. Thank you guys so much. And of course, to one of my new sponsors, Gaito Grillers by Waco Scarface. They provide delicious carne seca on both spicy lemon pepper and regular lemon pepper. You can catch them at local events and occasional Sundays in front of the flea market here in Waco. Make sure you follow them on social media at Gaito Grillers for locations to get your scrumptious carne seca that I like to put on top of my botana tray with Fatboy Michelada and botana. <laughs> it's delicious again. Thank you so much to Kaylin Ray. Uh, Kaylin, oh my God, girl. Kaylin Flores. I was thinking of Angie Reyes. Okay. No, my bad. I'm sorry. Kaylin Flores, thank you again so much for coming on to the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all my gifts. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. I love you all so much. And don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. <laughs>
That's it. Yeah, that I fun. hope that looks great. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.